Hey guys, it's Gay Gay. Welcome back to my channel. This is today's look. My Burgundy and Gold Smoky. If you're interested in how I did this look, just stay tuned and watch the video. As always, I thank you for liking and subscribing. So let's be peoples. Let's be peoples. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy. First, I'm going in with this Mary Kay Oil Mattifier. And it's just supposed to help with the oil. And I'm putting it on my T-zone. And then I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. And I'm going to place that all over my face. So I don't know what look I'm doing today. I'm going to try to keep my spirits up. I'm just trying to get through this week. You know, hell, I'm, I'm really just trying to get through 2020. <sighs> going in with our LA Girl Pro Con Corrector. And I am going to be placing this on my dark spots and my hyperpigmentation area. And then I'm going to go in with the um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. And I'm going to put this right here in my smile lines. So now we are looking like something off of The Walking Dead. We're going to go in here and do these brows. Oh, I just sharpened this pencil and it is extremely sharp. And we're going to make us some brows. Alrighty, so we're going in with a little LA Girl Pro Concealer on the back of my hand and a flathead brush and we're cleaning up these brows, you know, the same-o, of the same-o, of the same-o, of the same-o. Trying to get these brows to look like they within the family. Siblings, preferably not distant cousins. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just heard that song from a Travis Malloy, I think it is. That That's a lovely, lovely worship song. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Cleaning up some brows, trying to make them look like twins. Or at least close relatives. As I'm going into the storybook palette and I'm going to take a little of this gold and I'm going to be mixing this gold with a lighter color for the brow bone. But I do want that yellow, that yellow gold in this brow bone color. And I want it a little deeper than what it is. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, like that. And then we're gonna go in. Woo, with the Tarte palette. That good old Tarte. And we're gonna take this color, the usual brow color, and I'm just mixing these two together. We all up and personal and things, okay. So let's go in and let's take this yellow right here. And I'm just going to dab my brush in it because this is Norvina. And that's all it takes for Norvina. And I'm working this in my crease on both sides. Slowly building up my color. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go into the same palette, Norvina, and I'm gonna take this burgundy brown right here. Whoa, that's pretty. And I want to see if I can just do a burgundy look. And excuse that noise. If you hear anything, I have new neighbors and good night. Oh, they loud. They're loud. 
so I am working this in my crease and my lid and I'm going to do a burgundy smoky now if it changes I mean come on you know how I do <laughs> you know how I do but for right now this is what we're gonna do I'm do a little burgundy smoky and I know that these are more winter colors I, I'm ready for winter and I am so ready I, I'm tired of summer um come on if I got to deal with this coronavirus then give me some some cooler weather so I can you know this mask and this heat is oh my goodness and then this menopause on top of it it's like come on now come on so yeah working this in the crease on the lid all over the eye basically blending 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 hey i'm going back in to the norvina palette and i am going to pack this color on my lid And I'm just, I'm going into my color. And then I'm patting it on to get a deeper burgundy on the lid. And I'm bringing it up into my crease. Just packing that color on. Going back into the pan. Okay. So now I'm gonna take the brush that I was using previously and I'm just going to blend that out. And that's pretty much what you'll do is you'll pack your color on, then you'll blend it out. Pack your color on, blend it out. Because you want everything to be seamless. And I'm thinking about placing a gold right here in the inner corner. So we'll see how that works out. I was going to do an all burgundy smoky eye, but I thought let's put a little pop of gold in there. Ooh, I could put a pop of another color in there. Hmm. And I'm blending this out here. This little part right here is really hard to blend out. Not really understanding why. I think it may have something to do with me having to redo my primer. Okay, so I went in with the, it wasn't recording, the Nubian 2 palette, and I did place the gold that we, we talked about previously, and I placed it right in the inner corner. I wanted to kind of light, I, I wanted to do this burg smoky burgundy, but then I, I just wanted a little something in the inner corner to brighten that eye. So that's what we're doing. And I'm just taking that color and I'm just working it on top of the burgundy.
I'm going back and forth. Going into the storybook palette, and I'm going to take this gold right here. And I should have wet it with a little Fix Plus, but I just want to put this right in the inner corners to give it a little bit more of a pop like right there So now we're going in with the uh, tattoo eyeliner, and I'm just going to go ahead and do some liner. Cat eye. Okay, so we're going in with the Extraordinary Foundation from, from C.I. Tate London. And I just put some on the back of my hand. And I've been, I put it on with my Morphe brush. Now, it is a little deeper than my complexion, but I can work with that. That's not a problem. I really just wanted to try this formula and see how it worked with my skin. and see what the coverage was really about. So that's what we're doing. We're putting this on and it's gonna be too deep, but we'll lighten it up with another foundation. Alrighty, so we're gonna go in with the Juvia's Place foundation stick and I'm using this as my highlight and conceal. And this will also lighten up this foundation color. And I'm going to go on top of that with the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Okay, guys, so I picked up this uh, Katsina. It's a foundation from Juvia's Place, and it's a deeper shade that I wanted for my contour. I wanted to go a deeper shade, so this is what we're using for contour today. It's a Juvia's Place foundation stick. And of course it blends in just beautifully because it's Juvia's Place. So the quality is going to be excellent. So I'm going in with the talc powder on the red sponge to set the all over face. And then I'm going to go in the Mac with the Mac Studio Fix and set it again. And now I'm going in with the Winky Lux and I'm going to contour and bronze.
going into the artistry palette and we're taking the burgundy again and we're going to be working that under the eyes okay going back into the artistry palette and we're taking this color here and i'm just going to place that in the inner corner to lighten up that inner corner eye I'm going into the Norena palette and I'm going to take this eyeshadow that I use for the eyes and I'm going to use it as blush. And this is the completed look. My burgundy and gold smoky. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I will holler at you later. Thanks for watching.